One of the huge misconceptions about cryptocurrency is that it doesn't have utility. What can we use it for? Well, there are lots of different uh, cryptocurrencies that are working on huge challenges that are out there for storing data, for getting it decentralized uh, and easily accessible all over the world. We're gonna talk about one of those companies today that's really working to change how Web3 works called Constellation and their coin DAG. Some of the features are that it's completely secure, decentralized, infinitely scalable, truly interoperable, uh, feeless, and blazingly fast. Uh, now, it's not completely feeless, but for the average user, it is mostly feeless, which we'll talk about in a little bit. It's a really interesting uh, business model that they've used for this. But before we get into that further, uh, if you want to learn more about cryptocurrency projects with utility that have huge potential in the years to come, then click that like button, subscribe, and click that bell notification so you'll be first to know when we have new videos out. Also need to let you know this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, please do your due diligence before jumping into any crypto project. So the big goal that Constellation has is they wanna connect all of crypto with a new layer zero solution. So a new solution that sits right on top of the web itself becomes part of the web with their uh, the, the coding that they've created themselves. They're looking to rewrite how a major chunk of data is stored uh, with connections through the web. And they're saying if they can even just get 1% of the data that is uh, created on their blockchain, they're gonna be immensely successful with what they're doing. They wanna become the standard for government. Uh, their mission is to cryptographically secure the world's data by applying its blockchain protocol HGTP to the military's digital infrastructure. And about uh, three years ago, they actually uh, did receive a grant uh, from the U.S. Air Force to work on uh, this protocol that would help with the Air Force uh, storing their data on the blockchain and working uh, with the um, their government partners, which include Splunk, uh, Amazon Web Services, uh, and Space Isaac that stores data uh, that has to do with space programs. And they're working on getting that all onto the blockchain so it's more secure, more decentralized. The data can't be destroyed. Uh, it can be distributed, but it's uh, you know cryptographic and uh, also can't be hacked. Uh, like I said, they're working with a lot of other companies, including Space, Space Isaac, uh, Finovant, that's uh, working to advance uh, a lot of password technology, uh, Alchemy, the world's first decentralized ad exchange. We've got a drone company they're working with uh, that uh, is working uh, for solutions in uh, fully integrating drone logistics for retail centers, uh, weather data, smart drone delivery, and uh, even ride sharing, which uh, eventually they want to get to autonomous vehicles, which uh, has tons of data that uh, needs to be transferred all the time. They're working uh, with Concord, um, another data company, and uh, Safinia, uh, more data uh, collection companies. And they're working on getting all these companies uh, integrated into Web3 and uh, it's really exciting to see where they uh, could end up going. If we get a little bit into the technology and why it works better than say Bitcoin or Ethereum, uh, we'll look at a typical blockchain, which is just uh, one block of data is created and then uh, another block, another block. And with Bitcoin, this data creation uh, takes about 10 minutes per block. Uh, then we've got other DAGs uh, that have been used by other things uh, like iota and hash graph so the dag is a directed a cyclic graph it uh, allows for more points of data to be created in parallel at the same time and you don't need to know how this works but just that it, it allows for for more of these blocks to be created at the same time and their machine uh, learning models they're used to dynamically determine node trustworthiness and node optimization, which automatically prevents forking and enables self-healing in the network. So if you imagine a bunch of nodes, a node basically being a, a computer that's got all the data stored on it, um, these different nodes are communicating with each other all the time as new data comes in. And they're uh, 
determining whether all that data is matching up or not. And if it, if there isn't a consensus within those nodes, then that, that node can be uh, segmented off. Uh, they're saying it's the most democratic, secure, and fair of all the various consensus algorithms uh, out there when compared with proof of work or proof of stake or a delegation proof of stake. Uh, and they're calling this uh, itself their uh, proof of reputable observation, pro-consensus algorithm. Um, so once again, this is their article. So whether it's actually going to be the best that's out there is, uh, is hard to say, but uh, it's, it's really interesting technology, and they've really uh, thought, this up from the thought this out from the ground up. When we look at the uh, what's called the blockchain trilemma, um, is that you'd have to give up one of these three items for the other. So if you want more security, you have to give up scalability. Or if you want more decentralization, uh, you might need to give up more scalability, etc. So everybody's trying to solve this trilemma. But Constellation's gone uh, even a step further with what they're calling the blockchain quinlemma. And uh, with that, they uh, add interoperability and composability as well. Uh, and interoperability is basically different networks being able to uh, work with others. So uh, being able to change one token for another token um, within this network itself, rather than having to go to an exchange, change your token for a stable coin and then purchase uh, a different token with that stable coin, which is the, the slow clunky process you have to use now. Um, that's the interoperability that they're creating is they're wanting uh, different networks to all be able to work together within their uh, protocol itself. And that uh, with the composability that anybody will be able to build on top of this layer zero that they've created with either their layer one or a, a layer two network on top of that. So we can look at the team. We're always looking at uh, you know how how open are they with with uh, their information? How big is the team itself? We've got the founders here, uh, and uh, right now they've only got LinkedIn for uh, a couple of the the founders themselves, uh, and no contact information, no even images for a couple of the other uh, people. And if we look at uh, everyone on the the plan, a lot of people do have their LinkedIn. Uh, information here uh, so you can uh, find them that way but uh, so you can see there are a lot of people that they don't uh, have any uh, information about which is a little bit of a, a red flag there Ben Jorgensen the CEO of the company uh, does seem to be very visible and has uh, got some uh, good interviews uh, out there on the internet I'll, I'll link one or two of those in the, below so you can uh, dive deeper if you want to find out more about uh, Ben and, and their vision with Constellation itself. Uh, if we look at their DAG token, they did a transition from ERC-20 to their Hypergraph mainnet. Uh, so they are using their own code, it's stated right here. And it's just under five cents today as the whole market is in uh, the bear after the FTX collapse uh, that happened just a week before I made this video here. Uh, we can look at their max. So their their coin uh, came out uh, around June 2018, and uh, we did have a high around uh, 45 cents, and we're all the way down to uh, five cents now. So we are at a low, and uh, the low back in May was around that 0.035 uh, point, which I would imagine we might come back and touch if you're interested in getting in to the coin itself. Uh, they also have uh, their gateway uh, for Constellation's ecosystem. And uh, this is where uh, basically everything is built on top of a Constellation. Uh, it's their gateway to the Constellation Network's Web3 ecosystem. And uh, they do uh, help people to uh, create their own uh, token. Well, it's really cool that they're doing this. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to, to see what happens uh, with the SEC and regulation. Uh, we're not sure as far as uh, what tokens are going to seen, be seen as securities. And if uh, companies are coming into Constellation or coming into Lattice, uh, particularly to get on the Constellation network, are those going to be seen as uh, securities uh, where they have a launch pad fundraising uh, token marketing? 
trade liquidity, et cetera. Uh, I don't know, uh, but that, that could be one of the red flags uh, that's out there as far as until regulation comes and we determine uh, what tokens are seen as commodities as opposed to securities. The Lattice token itself uh, is around 32 cents today. Uh, if we look at the max on that, uh, it did hit a high of 252, and we're down to that uh, 30 cents. Uh, if we look at their mainnet, it just launched September 28th of 2022. Uh, they did two years of intensive development, and uh, Hypergraph mainnet 2.0 launched September 28th, uh, 2022. So they say there's no fees for the network. Uh, most page users are going to pay no transaction fees. Um, they offer uh, every wallet a free transaction, every snapshot, and each snapshot happens about every five seconds. So you can do a transaction every five seconds and there'd be no fee to you at all. Uh, for bigger companies that need to do lots of data processing, uh, they can pay a fee uh, that's one datum, which is right now, uh, point zero 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 eight zeros one DAG fee. So uh, it's very inexpensive and this allows businesses to really understand what their bottom line is. Problem with something like Ethereum or even Polygon, you, you don't know what the, the fees are gonna be at any given time on the network. With this, you have a fixed fee that, uh, that uh, can be worked into the business model so that you know how much you're gonna be paying uh, for each transaction. So it's going to be really interesting to see uh, where Constellation goes. I think it's one to keep your eye on, uh, see what partnerships they're getting, see if this uh, relationship with the Department of Defense does uh, expand, if there's any other information on that, because uh, I couldn't find anything uh, real recent on that, although there's tons of uh, articles and other things that I uh, still to go through. So as I find more information on Constellation, I'll uh, let you know about that. But they do have the speed going for them, uh, obviously low to no cost for using the network and uh, the uh, security that they have going. And if they can build this layer zero and get other uh, the rest of the crypto uh, market to build on top of it, it's really going to be a possible game changer. So the Constellation Network is going to be a really interesting one to watch. If uh, you found this information valuable, please do click that like button. It helps the channel a lot, helps other people find it. And if you want to subscribe and click that bell notification, we'll let you know when we've got other videos out on uh, other interesting coins that might have good utility in the future uh, or updates on Constellation Network itself. So thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate you. Peace and love. We'll see you later.